And welcome back to Career Build Series 2023. This is episode number 17. And so I had a little bit of an issue with the save file. I don't know what it was, but um, it was spawning my tanks without diesel in them. And then I was getting a weird bug where I either couldn't fill the tanks or it was uh, it would go from 4,500 liters down to like 100 liters and just the fuel would disappear. So I rolled back the save, added the money in that we got from the last mission. So really not far off. So let's go ahead and get started. And what we're going to be doing this episode is putting out a mooring buoy. And so let's go ahead and launch the tugboat here. And hopefully all is well. And I don't have an aneurysm. Uh, let's see. Good. So we're down 180 liters. This will level out. It is choosing to fill one or the other tank first. I'll leave the crane just kind of hanging there for now. But uh, we can go down and I can verify that this is going to... Um, you know, as that net value is increasing, this value is decreasing. So those are uh, gravity leveling out. So just simple gravity level. I didn't bother going any further than that. But that will uh, auto level out. That's just an artifact of the game. It's fill it, it chooses to fill one tank over the other. I, I had this with the Proteus where it would put... Um, It'll put like 14,000 liters in one tank and none in the other, and then eventually it would level out. So, we're just going to move the tug out here. I'm just going to kind of, we'll, we'll go out a little bit further here, just about here. I'm just going to uh, teleport over there, or um, I can't no-clip. I don't have no-clip on. I can't no-clip, but I'll, I'll uh, venture into the, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn no clip on. Just, uh, again, this is for expedition reasons to expedite. And let's go ahead and let's grab my mooring. And so for those who may not know what a mooring is, uh, it's essentially it's a big weight or an anchor that sits in the bottom. And the whole purpose of it is it's kind of like a permanent anchorage. And so I want to put on a keep active block there. Each quickly grab the color and we're just going to throw a keep active on there too that'll just keep it running and so this works pretty simply uh, when this is in the water it will automatically pay out all of all of the cable and so that way it has a, all the cable out and it will keep this out and so here's the mooring buoy i was going to make a new one but this one already has things like it already has a light on there that uh, works via the time. So at night, this will light up during the day. So uh, Actually, let's keep that stripe like it is. So this will uh, automatically light up at night. And so we can just tie off to this, essentially. That's its whole point. And so let's go ahead, and I think that's all set. Let's save it really quick. I made a new one, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. Wow. Eventually, I'll learn to spell. There we go. All right, good. And so we need to put this in the world as a separate body, or else as soon as we recall the other thing, it will um, bring it in. So you can hear the the winch is paying out line. That, that block doesn't need to be standing vertical. It can be on its side. It doesn't really matter. Now, when the sh when the ship is sitting stationary, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I want to go back slow, so I'm gonna go back with one screw. So I'm gonna do my port screw. And uh, when the ship is sitting stationary, the it will not really pull this block very much. When we power, it will drag it. So that's pretty that's pretty realistic. Like you can overpower certain anchors and moorings, but you know when it's sitting there stationary, not being powered, it really can't. So that's kind of the point. It's, you know, even like during a storm, a ship not under power can drag its mooring or its anchor. Get stuck in this door for some reason. There we go. I grabbed the wrong end of it. There we go. Let's see if I can't get this done right before I have an aneurysm. There we go. Put that there. All right. So that is the uh, the cable you're hearing is the cable on the or the winch you're hearing. Come on, can we go, please? There we go. The uh, cable you were, or the winch you were hearing is the on the mooring. I might get this stuck. I'm kind of pulling away from the wall. I have the azipod on. Hopefully I don't jam up and I'm going a little bit fast for this, but I'm kind of hoping to yank it. 
There we go. And we're yanking. Okay, good. It's yanking, all right. So you can see I'm pulling the mooring ball. All right, so we're going to go drag this out. It doesn't need to be in super deep water. I don't want it in super deep water. I kind of want it out here, but I need to get it um, centralized where I want. So this actually has, yeah, I can see it right. <laughs> I'm pointing at my monitor. I can see it underwater. You can kind of see it. Maybe I'll highlight it in the video if I care to. But um, we're dragging this out. And so I want to put this where essentially the, uh, the radius of this is not going to hit any shore. And so this will allow me to park the tug, and instead of having to use the tug's anchor, I can use the mooring ball. All right, and that's pretty good there. All right, so we're good. All right. And so what we'll do is, let's say that we want to sit out here on anchor. What we'll do is we will tie off. So I'll grab the rope tie it to the bow cleat like so and then that will now anchor us out here and so one of the reasons I want to do this is let's say we leave the tug all set up like this what I can then do is so this is now set if we look we see it's sitting out there so that should be pretty stationary notice we have a lot of line now in real life a lot of people think that the anchor is actually, the anchor is anchored, but one of the things that's really keeping the boat stationary is the chain. You figure the chain has a little weight, and so the chain, you have a long chain, and that chain's laying on the ground. Well, it's very hard, even if you pull it this way, to get the chain to come up. And so it actually puts very little strain on the mooring or the anchor. It's actually the chain is doing a lot of the work. That's why the chains are so heavy. And so one of the reasons I want to do this is I want to uh, let's see I'm gonna have to add a rope to this sucker. I don't have a I don't have much rope in I, I don't yeah I need it. Let's uh let's do this. Let's grab my little skiff here and let's go like good symmetries on good good and good and let's grab that color. And I'll just put some rope on this, like so. All right, good. So this is my little tiny skiff. Uh, let's see, tiny mode. Do I have a? I do have a backup for it right there. I just haven't saved it to it. Okay, there we go. All right, and so let me just. I don't. I definitely don't want to drop this in the water. I want to make sure it's sitting there when I put it in. So this is my tiny little skiff. And so like I used to do this when I was a kid. Was we had a. We had a boat that was a little... Oh, what happened to the panel, man? The panel got screwed up here. Let me fix it. So I didn't save it. So this here, this panel here, should go uh, like so. That should go like that. All right, let's paint it. Uh, so we had a 13-foot whaler we keep out on the mooring in the bay, and then the... It would take a little inflatable raft out there to go jump on it, see, so I wouldn't get wet. All right. And so let's put in the motor skiff. And so, you know, I, I, ooh, I, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. Oh, come on, man. If it sinks all the way to the bottom, sometimes you have to jump in the drink to get it to recall. So that's kind of a pain. See, I missed that block right there. Let's get rid of all this world business here. All right, so I actually did paint this already, but I screwed it up again. So there we go. All right, uh, that's done now. All right, can I actually save this and not have issues here? Let's put in... There we go. All right, so this should be sealed up now. All right, good. All right, hopefully it's saved. Let's save the sucker again. Let's spawn it in. Let's see if I can't uh, get out there. All right, good. It's a little bit wavy here. And I'm in the drink. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Come on, get up. He won't swim to the surface. It's rough enough he won't, so. Oh, 
Why is this not hit running now? Stress, stress, stress. Why is this not running now? This was running. Now it's not. I had some issues with the diesel in this base. I had to, like I said, redo the save. What is going on here? <laughs> Alright. What is up with this? It could be the... You know what it is, I bet? Could be. I'm curious if it's the air. It's not getting enough air because of the water coming up. I'm curious. I'll play with the C state, see if that's it. I'll I'll knock down the uh, weather, see if that will fix it. All right, we're not going to play with this boat right now. I'll fix that off screen. It's a pain. Let's grab the kayak. So the kayak is a nice little manual boat. Let's go like uh, take some tree off. I just need to add a place to tie it off. So the kayak's going to be a little manual boat. It has a hand crank. It doesn't uh, require. It. it makes some electricity just to turn the rudder. And that's it. And I actually want to put this on this side. So when you, you know, I was actually tested it out. Professor Incognito and I were riding this around during the workbench podcast. And so the. I just. Uh, one addition I'm going to make to it is I just staggered the seats. Oh, come on, man. I staggered the seats so that the weight and balance is a little bit better. It was working fine uh, when we were doing the podcast. So let's go ahead and spawn this. That <laughs> probably just completely wrote it. It did. It rolled it. Oh, pain and, and distress. Pain and distress. So one thing I wonder is, let's try this. This might be disastrous, but... Let's add a couple weight blocks. See if this is too much weight for this. I just want to make sure that it sits a little it it will kind of auto rotate. Yeah, that's excessively heavy, I think, now. Yeah, that's just too much. It's just such a light vehicle. It can't take the weight block. Right. The only time I've ever I've really had this rotate anyways as if I jump on it. So I will do my very best not to jump on this. And then this actually has to be set up correctly or else I will not have buoyancy. So. Alright. So let's try not to jump on this. You know, these tiny little builds are really sensitive to things like jumping on them. It This only, this weighs like double what my player character weighs at most. Alright, let's get out there. I would love them to add a two, uh, like, add controls to the padded seat. Oh, come on. Don't roll over, Ding Dong. Um, I would love them to add controls to the padded seats. But right now, I have to let's just, like, kind of look at the look at these, and I can steer left and right. But this is kind of nice. You know, there's just a little, little um, hand-cranked kayak that will easily get us out there, as you can see. I like this type of gameplay. It's just it's it's a little bit more engaging. It's a little bit more realistic and good for RP. Is you know our, the tugboat sits out in the mooring. I don't you know I don't recall it into an infinite base that allows me to have three vehicles, but I only pay for one of them at a time. So how much of this is going to be um, you know up for, up, for, up for debate certainly of how much I really just kind of screw around. But um, I I just think it's hilarious this little uh, this little kayak. You know, you know, heading out to the uh, tugboat there. And so, you know, it's kind of fun. It's, you know, it's instead of me jumping on the drink and getting wet all the time, we take this out there. So this is like what you do IRL is you, 
have it sitting out there in the mooring or on it on its anchor. This this kayak can actually fit in the back. That's whoa, come on, don't you dare. Um, this kayak can fit in the back. And uh, I'm gonna try to uh, come on. I'm gonna try to steer left and see if I can ride it. Come on, dude, don't roll over, you scum. What is the wind doing, man? Holy mother! All right. Good, good. Come on, man. Straighten up and fly right there, kayak. Oh, forgot my train of thought too. So one of the reasons I put the crane on is the ability to put things like this in. That's why it has that rope anchor. So this could actually be loaded on t onto the tugboat. Yeah, I really like these tiny little builds. These are like super challenging to get right, to get to work, and you know, like it is too windy to have this little Johnny. That's why I made that little skiff. Little skiff was working great, and then now it's not starting, so I have to go through and check, see what's up. I, you know, my, I'm often quite bad at doing saves. I'll often forget. So you can see that the tugboat is starting to push around now. All right, so we're going to go to the bow of the tugboat. What you would do in real life is you would swap rope. So I would grab the... You'd actually tie the both off at the same time. I'm going to stop and see if it will right itself. The, wind, the wind's catching it again. Let's see if it rights. I don't know why it likes to steer like that. It's just... All right, come on, dude. Straighten up. Fly right. All right, so I want to go over to... So what you would do is... Um, you would also tie the mooring off to this. You'd get into your, in this case, the tugboat. And once you're ready, once you're powered up, engines are started, that's when you disconnect. You know, you wouldn't want to uh, be floating freely because let's say you pull off, you, you detach yourself from the mooring and then something's wrong and you can't start your engines, well, now you're adrift. So you stay attached to the mooring until you're ready, until you know your engines are up and running and everything is all is good in the world. Part of it is I keep it, like just let go into the, the crank here. All right, there we go. And so we're gonna I'm gonna tie off to probably the tugboat. I don't have any rope in this. I just put rope in the other one. I we're gonna forgot to put it in this. All right, so we're gonna do what I just said not to do, which is. All right, come on, jam up against that. There we go. All right, we're going to do what I just said not to, which is detach from the mooring and then hook it to the um, thing. And, you know, it's trying to just me trying to get rid of some frustration is the, you know, I just set up that skiff so that it had rope to tie off. That was the whole reason I, oh, come on, man. going to be swear words in uh, like two seconds here if this thing doesn't behave itself. Ah, okay, good. So now my kayak is hooked to the mooring buoy. All right, good. Beautiful. Awesome. So that's now hooked to the mooring buoy. We would get into the tug, fire up our systems. I still haven't reconnected all the downstairs systems, but I will do that at some point. And now we're ready. So <laughs> Heroin endeavor of me trying to work through my own engineering and game nonsenses. All right, but as you can see now, so the kayak is now attached to the mooring buoy, and we can go out in this. I, I think I'm going to make a little bit bigger of a skiff. The tiny little skiff is is great for it. It actually fits on the back of this. I might make a, another one that a little bit more robust. But as you can see, that will sit on the mooring buoy and it will float freely, and then we can get going here. So let's get going. All right, there we go. All right, so we're off here. Let's go ahead. Do we have any missions? I doubt we do. We have a good bit of money in the bank, which is nice. I'm going to start steaming away here and see if we can get a mission. Um, let's go ahead and let's start heading towards the south. I'd like to grab some more diesel. So, What are we talking here? 011. Let's go ahead and we'll enab initialize, en enable that English language speak. English. All right, um, and let's go downstairs. All right, it's nice to have the build system. That really helps. Let's grab a mission. Uh, fire six casualties. That's a that's a good one. That's that's worth some cash. 
Okay, that's all the way to the south, so that's uh, going to be a little bit of a hike. Let's see. We'll start heading that direction. I want to get fuel anyway. Now I, um, now I wish I would head the other way. Um, all right, we're not very far. Let's just turn around here. All right, need my flashlight here. A little bedside light would be nice, but, you know, the lights are huge in-game. They really are. Okay, let's put the new one, in, the new course in there. This is going to take us a while to get down there. It's not super far, but, you know, it's one of the nice things. We do 25 knots, which is pretty fast. So that's 11 minutes to there, and then probably ooh, more than that down there. Let's sleep, see if we can't get something closer. We'll just keep puttering around and sleeping and see where, see where we can get. Not ready. You know, I don't mind going down there, but I don't want to time lapse again just to go down there and come back. It's good about money, but it's also a land. It looked like a land mission. Uh, door, control panel caught fire, electrical fire. Let's see. It would be nice if I didn't have to get out of my bed to check the map. Where the hell is that now? Yeah, see, that. okay, so that's is that the same mission? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not doing that mission. Like a sea-based mission, something reasonably close. Uh, Harbor Logistics Center, okay. That is over here. So I actually want to buy this island. That's only 15 grand. We don't have a ton of cash, but um, I'm I'm interested in this one. 15 grand. That's a pretty good base. I'd like to have a southern base. I'd like us to be able to go in here. Like if we're doing stuff down here and we need to. So the base I want to buy, and the island I wish to buy is this one. That's uh, 100 grand. That's because it has both the ability to build a property, um, a land base, and it also has the ability to launch larger vehicles so that will set us up nicely this one is just a lighthouse island we can only put um that what? oh my god i forgot to fix this nah, i gotta fix that Grr. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play with the game sounds here the um the propeller is way too loud so I've been noticing that in the videos, it's just propeller noise gone awry. I, uh, you know, I might go in the files and reduce the sound of that, reduce the volume if I can. We'll have to see. But that's going to take us a little while to get there, so I'm going to go ahead and time lapse, and I will see you when we get there. So we're here, so let's go ahead and we'll head over there. It's right off to the uh, port side of us here. And so I'm just going to set a waypoint and we'll nav right in on GPS there. Did I put it in right? Where am I? Let me look. Yep, I'm right there. I thought I was. So okay, so I was looking at the wind farm. That's why I was like, what is that over there? What is going on here? What, am I doing a circle? Hmm. Okay, something's up here with my autopilot. 
Yeah, something's up with my autopilot. That's weird. Alright, I'm gonna manually traverse this over there. Could be right over here. I can see the fire, so. So ideally, I'd like to buy this place. Um, a little bit low on money for that. I think we'll be all right. We have like 30, uh, we have 30 grand, so I think we'll be all right. And maybe buy like 10 grand of fuel at some point. All right, so here we go. We're coming into the, the island here. This is kind of a cool little base. Also allow us to start getting into bigger vehicles. Especially I want to start making some money, so I'd like to make a barge. Also with the Build Challenge Charlie going on, if you watch the Build Challenge Charlie video, I made an example tanker. I pretty much just made the hull and some of the interior structure. Uh, none of the engines or the microcontrollers or superstructure or any of that is in there, so... You know, I'd like to bring that into the career build series as well, so we have a tanker. Yeah, let's kick on spots. Nice, dreary, rainy day here. We'll go ahead and I'll equip my Fire X while I'm at it. There we go. Alright, so I have two rescues as well, so... Probably, is that, that's the hospital ship. I'm not going to the hospital ship. We'll go to Sawyer South, and we'll grab fuel on the way. Alright, All right, so let's get up there. Let's put this fire out. We have two to rescue. See how, uh... Probably, ooh, it's probably not ideal to get fuel. Why am I in such slow down here? Probably the lighting. Ooh, come on, I was trying to not get wet. But I jumped in the soup, so what are, what are we looking at here for frames? 30 frames. Okay. Hopefully put this fire out and that will help a little bit. Fire has been really slowing me down lately, so hopefully it's just the fire that's doing that. Open up both doors and then I can hit directly on it. There we go, that's putting out quickly. I have a few fire extinguishers in this uh, tug, so we should be alright in case this one goes out. I do have a firefighting outfit too. I should have worn that. Trying to make sure I don't burn myself here. There we go. I have to just aim a little higher on this one. It's a little higher up in the world. There we go. Yeah, the fire's really been slowing things down lately. There we go. Yay! All right, there's three grand. Uh, where are these peeps at? It would be nice to find a loot crate. That would be that would be really very cool. Find a loot crate. Are they in here? They're in here. Okay, good. No loot crate in here. Hello. Hello. All right, let's go. Come on, peeps. There we go. They are falling nicely. I'm just going to check real quick the loot. I'm not seeing any around. I went in the garage. I didn't see anything. There could be something here, but I don't want to hunt for too long. All right, so what's our cash situation here? So we have 26. Yeah, we have plenty of money. Let's buy this. It'll be an investment. 
it's only 15 grand that's you know this is a this is a larger spawn area for only 15 grand that's pretty inexpensive so Luckily, I flew in. Are they going to do it, too? Look at that. Ooh-wee. That's helpful. All right, come on, peeps. Come on, peeps. I'm going to just go ahead and pick one of them up. There we go. I'll grab you. Hello. Let's go in the seat here. There we go. All right, nice. So we're, uh, we're off to the races here. Let's go ahead and... Sorry about that there. All right. Let's back it out. Yeah, so it looks like we could go down here, but I think Sawyer South. We need to go by this. I don't know. Is it is it auto stopping because of the? I don't know, man. I don't know what the deal is. Why? It... Wow, dude! What the hell? Slowdown's kind of screwing me up here a little bit. We got traveling. Alright, so I'll plan out here. I really hate these railways over the water. I really dislike them. I wish we could deselect them. I have no desire to have a railway cutting off two continents. It makes... It makes it so hard. Let's see if I can find a large bridge. The large bridges were a step in the right direction. But I need to be able to find one that I can actually go under here. To plan. It's like I have to go super far south to plan under it. You know, if they would show us where the pilings were, that would help. Like, see, I can't even see any large bridges there, so whatever. Um, let's go ahead and go... Let's go right there. Yeah, what are we looking like there? So, oh, the time won't show until we're headed directly to it. So about nine, ten minutes, something like that. All right, so I will time lapse, and I'll see you guys when we get there. So we're back here at uh, Sawyer South. And so let's go ahead and let's get ready to dock here. So oh, we just got a mission. Let's see what that is. That's probably nowhere near us. Yeah, they're starting to get far away now. Uh, what is, okay, that's the kayak. I was just wondering what that was. This is Logistics Center fire. All right, I haven't checked on my people. Oh, one of them has um, become incapacitated. So let's grab them. Uh, let's put the fire extinguisher away. Let's grab the defib. Let's give them the old hello. Now yeah, let's. Um, all right, you sit back down. We're not quite docked yet, there, sir, sir, or madame. Uh, there's a ladder there. Let's go up to the ladder. I'm just steering in on one screw just to keep the speed a little bit slower. I'm just going to go in the corner here.
Alright, I'm going to kick on the harbor generator and I'm going to shut off my main engines. Go ahead and we'll go on to the anchor light. I'll grab you and... Let's stick them out here first. Getting slow down again. I do not know what's causing the slowdown, but something is really slowing me down here. What are we down to? 25 frames. Man, that's no good. Hopefully that uh, that's not like that constantly. I don't, you know, I don't have much in this world that should be causing a lot of lag in the game, but getting slow down here. I don't know why. All right, follow me. Follow me. Please follow me. You coming? One of them. Uh, hopefully both of them are coming. The slowdown, it's kind of miserable trying to do it, so. Hopefully, hopefully I have spectators. Uh, I got, I've got one. Up. Oh, the other one's just sitting there like a dope in the water. It's getting wet. You coming up the ladder, please? Yep, okay, good. This one's following. I don't know what's causing the slowdown. Something is. Yeah, like it's it's painfully slow. Oh, I'm gonna land on the deck if I'm not careful here. Come on, man, swim. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's causing the physics slowdown. Something's doing it. I'm trying to see if I don't, I don't really have anything running that would do it. I just double check and make sure I don't have anything wrong. Yeah, I'm I'm barely using up any of my resources, so and fortunately I'd say it's an in game issue. Yeah, we're down to twenty five frames, which is pretty bad. Alright, so let's see if I can get both, uh, you know what, I should hold on to this one. Let's go. Oh my god, this slowdown's ridiculous, dude. It's really bad, it is super, look at, look at this. Look at the slowdown, man. Please be, uh, are you following me? Come on, man, I can't take you guys not following me. I have to time lapse a short run, this is brutal, man been doing this lately. I don't know what's causing it. I'll try to go through this as we run here and see. Yeah, just looking at my numbers, trying to see what the hell is going on here. Logic 26, yeah, Ocean. See, all three of those are low. I've, I've had this issue. I had to start the the uh, save over again because of this. You know, oh, don't you dare. Oh, you suck so bad. You suck so bad. I'm right here. Just come back to me, man. Hey, hey, ding dong. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, this is a hike, too. These people, like, I have to go all the way up in the woods here. This one is not the one you want to be physics slow down at. Where in the F word is this person here? Stay there, dude. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'll end the episode here. I will run these people off. I'm going to probably uh, save and bring it back after I get this this uh, rude person out of the drink. And uh, so we'll end it there. Uh, there's no point in you watching me run this off. It would have been a quick run and a little, little debrief if uh, if it wasn't slow down. But this is going to be a long, miserable um, run. So I think it is best if uh, we just call it there. And I will see you guys in the next one. These people should be rescued. All right, see you then. Bye.